Hey guys, Ben here with Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore. And today on Sportsman Showcase, we have an AR platform rifle from Springfield Armory. This is the St. Victor chambered in 5.56 NATO. We're gonna take some time and go over the upgrades and cover all the specs on this rifle. So first, we wanna talk about the biggest upgrade for this version of the Victor, which is the B5 furniture added right from the factory at Springfield. We have the SOP mod stock with an ergonomic cheek weld design and integrated QD sling mount. They also added the type 23 pistol grip with enhanced ergonomics and super aggressive grip panels. Okay, now we're gonna move into the tabletop view and cover all the specs on this rifle. All right, so we're gonna start things off up front here with the barrel. We've got a 16 inch melanite coated barrel with a one and eight inch twist. And then we'll move into the muzzle device. We have a muzzle brake on this rifle. And then moving into the gas system, we have a direct impingement, low profile gas block with a mid-length gas system. Then we have a 15 inch M-lock handguard. All right, so moving into the upper and lower receiver section of the rifle, we have both the upper and lower are forged 7075 T6 aluminum and they both have a hard coat anodized finish. We have a nickel boron coated flat face GI trigger. And like we said before, we have the B5 enhanced SOP mod buttstock here. And to go right along with the SOP mod stock, we have the Type 23 pistol grip. We have a short throw 45 degree safety on this rifle. We have low profile adjustable spring-loaded sights and onto the bolt carrier group we have an enhanced m16 bcg made of 9310 steel with a melanite finish okay so pretty cool feature with the sop mod stock they have two waterproof compartments here and to access these you have to take the stock off the rifle and you spin these little they're like teardrop shaped so they're captive inside the stock and then you spin it about 180 degrees and you use the top of that teardrop to be able to push that compartment out of the stock. And once you have that out, you just push on it again and you have two little gaskets here to keep all the moisture out of these little compartments, but it'll hold two double A's or three CR123 batteries. It's pretty cool. And to put it back in, it's just a reverse order Put it back down in and spin your little tab 180 degrees. Throw it back on your rifle. All right, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you have any questions, comment down below and we'll do our best to answer those for you. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking the bell. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.